Hello friend, Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. Now today, this is a, this is a video and we are talking about the truth of the water quality here at Lake Chapala. And there might be those that like to talk about doom and gloom, but there's those I know that watch our channel that want to know what the truths are. And I've actually had some comments uh, emailed to me about asking why I never talk about the water at Lake Chapala. They've never seen anybody in the water. And so I'm going to be sharing some things today why, in fact, that really isn't the case. So here's what I have found. I have found that you could take 100 expats and ask one question. You'll get 100 answers. Social media, social media today makes it easy to post things, no matter if that person knows what they're talking about or not. There was an individual, well, there was an event that took place here a month ago or so that um, it was a shooting that was actually in uh, out towards Chapala. And you wouldn't believe all the things I've heard about it. Now, I know what the truths are because I went and searched and got the truths. But I really couldn't believe that one person that I talked to said, or I, heard him over, I overheard them saying, telling somebody, that it was two cartels fighting it out at Lake Chapala. Well, I'll let you know that, yes, there was shooting. Nobody was hit. Nobody was hurt. And there were three arrests. And it was not the cartels fighting. If the cartels are fighting, there'll be people dead. And there weren't. But that's how easy it is for people to talk about things. There are those of you, probably you, are wanting to know the truth about living at Lake Chapala. So you deserve to have the truth. People look at Facebook as if it's God's truth. And I will tell you, I... I'm on there a lot. What I don't do is I'm not on there to uh, talk about any of the subjects that I see. What I do is there are people that are coming here that have specific questions. And what I do is I send them a link that is from our channel that will answer that question for them. That's the only reason I'm, that I'm on Facebook. I want to help people. They're sincerely looking for the truths, for the the, the value for the content, they really want to know. So that's what this video is all about today. So I, uh, I'm going to start with this. <laughs> I'm just going to start with the good news. That's all the bad news I just talked about. This is the good news. And that is that Lake Chapala is not a bad lake. Not at all. And Lake Chapala is the primary water source for Guadalajara. As a matter of fact, water is pumped at 2,500 gallons a second to provide Mexico's second largest city in the country. 2,500 gallons a second. That's millions and millions and millions of gallons. So, there's, there's treatment that's done before it gets to Guadalajara, but that's where the water's coming from. It's, it's widely seen that the water from Lake Chapala actually is what provides water for all the pueblos and the towns around it. Uh, 30 of them, in fact, and that's not the case. Um, the Mexican government, between 50 and 70 years ago, dug wells, deep wells, and those wells today still provide the communities around Lake Chapala with water. So it doesn't come from Lake Chapala, but Lake Chapala does do the water for Guadalajara. Over 40 years ago, there is a river, and it's called the Rio Lerma River. It's at the far, est, far east end of the lake, 
and it actually it actually was the number one source of pollution that at one time was getting into Lake Chapala. But here today, 40 years later, here's what's happened. Because by the time that the water goes through that lake and the water gets to Lake Chapala, because of the sediment and because of the fact of what's in the water, it normally drops. But over a distance of 466 miles of the Rio Lerma River, there are over 200 processing and treatment plants before the water even gets to Lake Chapala. Now, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sit here and say. And by the way, I'm reading all this. I I've, I've got notes. I'm wanting to make sure I get all of it and I share it all with you. That's how important my videos are for you. And so, if you see me looking down, I'm reading because I want to make sure that I'm I'm providing you with all the facts and the and the information. So, Lake Chapala is not perfect, but because of the treatment plants and what is taking place before the water ever gets to Lake Chapala, the agricultural um, impurities, the pollutants, it's all, and the sediment has actually gone to the bottom of the river. And that's well before it ever gets to Lake Chapala. So, yes, there was a time where it was really bad, 40 years ago. And, and I would even say it could have been 30 years ago, 20 years ago. But because of the fact of all the treatment plants, the 200 of them that are actually along the river itself of over 466 miles, the water's changed to where it is a lot pure, not perfect, but it isn't as bad as a lot of people talk about it. I mentioned about false statements that's on Facebook. You know, I, I really feel bad for folks that are really wanting to come down here. And they'll read something on Facebook. And they'll take that for truth. And what that does is that really puts a wrench in people's plans. I mean, I've had people email me about, is it true? Am I not be able to rent anything for under $1,500 a month or under $2,000 a month? And I say, absolutely. There are places here like that. I've had people tell me you can't find a nice place for $500 a month. I just did a video on that. This gentleman bought this house put all brand new appliances in it, washer and dryer and uh, dishwasher and refrigerator. And I know I'm missing some things. He put new furniture in there, put new TVs, $500 a month. And for $600, he would actually pay the utilities for you. <sighs> two bedroom, two bath house. So when people say things on Facebook, I want to encourage you, don't just take that as being the truth, because it isn't. I've had people on Facebook, I've also had people that I've, that I've talked to, have been told that there are caustic fumes that come off the lake and people are getting cancer from it. I don't know where they got that. I can't believe it. And I've not just seen it once on Facebook. I know that somebody said it and somebody else saw it and, you know, everybody wants to get the, you know, the big fish. Um, so things end up getting embellished. And it turns out that when you hear it, it's, it's nothing like what it really is. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll share with you an example about that. I used to be a motivational speaker. I used to speak to organizations and thousands of people in uh, ballrooms and such about opportunity and succeeding in business. And I wanted to show what it was like when somebody shares something with someone else, how that changes when it gets to the end and you hear the information. So somebody's been talking about it, you share with somebody, you share with somebody, and it got to you. So here's what I did this was a room of professional people. 
These are not, this literally, these were all, you know, singles or marriage or whatever it may be, but I chose one row. The row in front had 20, uh, 20 um, chairs going across. I'll never forget it. I proved a point, and that is I whispered into one person's ear, the very first one, and I whispered into their ear, and then they said to the next person, to the next person, to the next person, to the next person, over 20 people. And you know what came out the end? Eat a green burrito. Do you know what I do you know what I whispered in that first person's ear? Go executive director. How did it go from go executive director to eat a green burrito? I can't tell you. That's what happens here at Lake Chapala. People talk about things, not even, I mean, well, well meaning people. Their intentions are right, but it's the information that gets disseminated and, and goes out and everybody sees it as being the truth. And that isn't necessarily the truth. I've never heard of caustic fumes coming off the lake. I've never heard of caustic fumes coming off the lake and somebody getting cancer, or even somebody getting sick. Um, so what I did was I wanted to share some information about where I'm from in Southern California and the beaches. So I'm from Huntington Beach. But there's a lot of other beach, beaches. There's Bolsa Chica, Huntington, you got Newport. Um, I'll just share with you. So there are 11 million people that actually go to Huntington Beach every single year. Between Huntington Beach, Newport, and Laguna, the contamination and bacteria levels are, high, are higher and exceed the tested water from Lake Chapala. At those beaches, there was a period of 223 days a year that had closed 67 beach miles of Southern California. I have never heard of one part of Lake Chapala that's been shut down because of bacteria. From what I can best understand in regards to the levels, Lake Chapala is 75% low. In other words, if this is bad and this is good, 75% below the standard. That means it's a lot better than what people are talking about it. A lot better. That, that to me, that said something. That said something to me. So, what do I say about the people saying nothing goes on at Lake Chapala? I want to share with you. I've seen this with my own eyes. This is not something I'm just telling you and somebody told me about it. And this is what I've seen. I've seen children, kids, although local, swimming in the lake. Adults also. Fishing on the lake. And not just locals. I'm talking about folks that come down here. There's a club. Go fishing on the lake. Kayak clubs out on the lake. Windsurfing on the lake. Yes, I've seen people windsurfing on the lake. Sea-dews. I, I know of a owner of a restaurant here in town. He has sea-dews. Goes out to Lake Chapala. Wakeboarding. Yes, wakeboarding. Kind of like water skiing, only you're on a different type of a board. Um, but I have seen folks, I've seen, I saw one time somebody was water skiing on the lake. There are boats that are out all the time. And they're either taking folks on tours, like to the to the uh, island, Scorpion Island or Mescala Island, or they're taking them across the, the, uh, the lake over to the wineries, or they're just out touring around on the lake. As I bring all this to close... I want you to know that this is a big topic about the water levels at the lake. And it's a lot better than what people start telling people. Because, again, it's the gossip. One person telling one person who tells one person who tells one person. It's the way things happen. Um, I'm amazed when I hear different kinds of stories. I mean, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard some stories and I'm not just talking about I'm not talking about right here in, in my neighborhood I'm talking about when I'm out for dinner and we get talking to people stuff that people are telling me and 
it's like, you know what? I bet that's not true. So I'll check on it. I wanted to make sure you had the truth of what the water is like at Lake Chapala. Now, granted, you know, I don't see Americans. I don't see Canadians. I don't see snowbirds. I don't see folks that are at the shore swimming in the lake. But I definitely have seen folks doing things out on the lake. Because as you get 300 feet off the shore, it's clear. It's a lot different view than what is right at the shore. So I hope this has helped you. And if you're one of those that is willing to listen from somebody who told from somebody who told from somebody and you put it on Facebook, we're always influencing people, either for the good or for the bad. I want to encourage you to be someone that wants to in, in, influence people for the good, to make a difference. Friend, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. It's a great community. I know you wouldn't be a part of it. All you got to do is go and hit the little red box in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and you're subscribed. You'll know our next video comes out. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That lets other people know it's a great video about retiring to Lake Chapala. Also, I'd like to encourage you to hit the bell. And what that does is let you know immediately. It lets you know when, in fact, our next video would come out. And if you'd like to stop by, say hi, ask a question, or let us know of a video idea that you'd like to see. So with that, again, thanks for being a part of this community and this channel. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.